Hey everyone, how's it going? Uncle Zonky here. Welcome to episode 4 of the uh, College of Winterhold walkthrough. So as I said last time, I would resume with you guys when I was at Mazolft. So, I have reached Mazolft after a long and arduous journey. And we're ready to head in this uh, Dwarven Ruin. The first Dwarven Ruin so far of this... I don't know, playthrough, whatever you want to call it. I can guarantee it won't be the last Dwarven Ruin. There will be more. Including the uh, the big granddaddy of them all during the main quest, but uh, we're not going to get into that yet. But Gone. anyway, here's some guy that just conveniently Baratus in Oculori conveniently dies as soon as we get here. He was just waiting for us to waiting for us to die. Anyway, so blue mage robes. I have robes that are better than that. Um, so you can't actually come in here until you start the quest. So that's why that guy is there, and that's why he has a key with him. Anyway, um, there will be some random uh, dwar dwarven robotic enemies, whatever you want to call them. Don't, that's a pressure plate. You don't want to step on that. I'll activate a trap. There's another dead Synod researcher. Scroll of Harmony, that's worth a lot. 500 gold for a scroll. Anyway, if you see, like, large or small Dwemer plate metal, um, I always pick them up just because uh, it's kind of useful to have them. So the Dwarven spider worker there noticed me, even though I was sneaking and had muffle on, but unfortunately they still noticed me. Oh well. So yeah, I'm just killing them with archery because my Majika takes too long to regenerate and I don't want to wait for it, so... Oh, sit down. Anyway, um, I did turn down the difficulty a bit uh, from Adept to Apprentice, and the reason why is because uh, with tougher enemies, I have been dying. And I want to keep dying to a minimum because, for one, it really makes me start to lose interest in the game much faster. Um, and for two, it's just it's bad for watching the game itself. Um, dying is so I want to keep dying to a minimum as much as possible so that's why I turned down the difficulty a little bit also it's just very difficult when you're playing as a spellcaster wearing robes um, and you're a very low level so your destruction isn't very effective yet and you can probably you guys are probably there's probably gonna be some of you out there that are like yeah I play on the hardest difficulty and I'm such a man but all in all it's just a video game so you know I believe you should play a video game uh, however you enjoy to play it. And I'm already 33 archery. I've barely done any archery at all, so that's pretty cool, I guess. Um, but anyway, I promise I'll go back to the destruction soon. Um, I have also been trying to use... Can I open store? What's in here? Am I supposed to... I don't know. I thought I was supposed to go this way, but you know, what do I know? I've also been trying to use um, my flame atronach a little bit just to train some destruction. Also he can be quite helpful uh, since all the enemies are really low level. Um, it's quite helpful just to have a flame atronach around. Boom. Burn. I'm not a Magica. A Magica regenerates so slowly and I have so little of it. It's bad I can't, can't really set you on fire because you're made out of metal but I think the fire damage still works against these guys somehow. Anyway, he's dead. Let's move on to the dungeon. Hopefully find some more enemies to kill. For some reason, scrap metal cannot be turned into dwarven bars. It has to be plate metal. Um, large or small plate metal. I think you can get scrap plate metal as well. There's moonstone ore. I don't really need that. So I'm not going to waste your guys' time. There's a Charis, which have a lot of health. Quite annoying to kill. My Magica takes a long time to go down. It just takes forever to recharge again. Um, later on, your Magica can recharge so good if you get really um, effective robes. Uh, I was watching my brother play this game the other day, and he had some robes that made your Magica regenerate like 250% faster, and it was just insane how fast it regenerated. But um, he's also a much higher level in this game. So, anyway. Moonstone ore. I don't need that. Doesn't look like there's anything interesting here. I'm going to keep all my looting to 
um, as much of a minimum as I can. Cool, we leveled up. And we're gonna put the points in health. As soon as I get 200 health, um, I'm probably gonna start training my Majikas again. Because, uh, yeah, the more Majika, the better. Really, it's just, it's a good thing to have more of it. Um, this is a situation where I need my Flame Atronach. I don't have enough Majika for it yet. Come on, hurry, hurry, hurry. Hurry, hurry. Luckily, the Charis is, uh, don't do too much damage. They just have a ton of health. There we go. Flame Atronach. Conjuration finally increased. Unfortunately, for some reason, um, like when you actually use Conjuration, it doesn't train. It's just when you actually summon things with your Conjuration, I believe. That's the only thing that actually trains your Conjuration, so. Anyway, that's kind of annoying just because it takes so long summoning like a million Flame Matriarchs because you have to be around enemies when you do it too for, to count. Like if you summon a Flame Matriarch before you go into battle, it doesn't count, so you have to actually have an enemy chasing you and then summon a flame matronach for it to train your conjuration uh, i can't stand that about this game it's becomes a very annoying skill to train because there's no effective way to train conjuration other than kind of boosting it um, which should never be the case there should always skills should always train when you use them you shouldn't have to boost skills just to train them uh oh uh oh uh oh dwarven sphere Holy crap, you have a lot of health. Not good. I don't have a sword and shield. I really should, but I don't. Let's do this. Got me a little bit there. Heal up. Yeah, brother. Vulnerable. I love archery. It's definitely my favorite style to use in this game. I just wanted to... Uh, you know, do kind of a, a casting character to make it a more interesting and different playthrough, but I do love my archery as well. Unlock gate adept. Uh, we'll try it. I can actually do, like, much easier lock picking with the Xbox controller rather than just with the mouse and keyboard. Pick like, picking locks with the mouse and keyboard is just not fun in any sense of the word. I'm sure if you, like, practiced a lot and eventually got good at it, it wouldn't be so bad, but all that for two dwarven bars, I don't, two dwarven ingots, whatever, I don't think that was really worth it, but whatever, let's muffle, train our illusion up a bit, what level am I, am I already like level 16, yeah 16, it's crazy, I was level 12 when I got on Skyrim like an hour ago, level very fast, he hasn't even noticed me yet? See if I can get a sneak attack in here. But yeah, sneak is by f oh really? He noticed me like just as I was drawing my bow there. Flames to finish him off. There we go. Destruction increased to 37. So my destruction is still um, I believe it is my highest. No, my illusion is my highest skill, obviously, because I've been power training that. But destruction is my second highest skill. Yeah. It is. I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing. That 37 is my second highest skill. As I was going to say, Sneak is one of the easiest skills in this game to power train. And I will be power training that one because um, that's another one that's just kind of bad game design in the sense that if you don't power train it, it takes forever. But on my uh, on my main Skyrim character on, uh, on my Xbox, I actually did get to... Uh, 90 sneak without power train and somehow I was kind of like a, a sneaky archer on that guy you know? snuck around did a lot of archery am I gonna die here not quite I came close though I was gonna say I'm gonna risk it here like, I won't try to find a potion or anything to drink but I better not die oh really really you too, Open spider worker. Uh, it's annoying because I can't heal myself and do damage at the same time. Anyway, he's dead. Whoa! What happened there? FPS drop. That's what ha what's happening. Feels like even though my FPS didn't go down. Um, 
since I am recording for apps, I can see what my FPS is all the time. It's usually around 30, which, yeah, isn't great, don't make fun of me, but ideally you want to have about 60 FPS to record video games, but uh, I don't have a good enough graphics card to do that. Um, and I believe this is the way that we must be going right now. Ooh. It's a little quiet. I can see a dwarven spe sphere on the other side there. Let's see if I can sneak attack him. Oh, I missed him. Really? I can't hit this guy. There we go. Sneak attack for double damage. I don't know if you could even see him in the way out in the distance there, because it's going to be a little bit of a smaller screen on YouTube, but... Oh, really? I missed that shot? Why'd you go after me? Hey, my Flame Antronach is here, too. Why is my Flame Antronach not doing all that? But yeah, unfortunately, archery, even, even from, like, close range, archery just does so much more damage than destruction. Like, I do want to be a casting character, but I can't use, um... Let's see. I guess I could do this. Here, we're going to destruction here. And we're going to upgrade it. So it takes less Magicka to use spells. Apprentice level spells for half Magicka. We'll take that perk, but... Even so, if we go into destruction here and use our Firebolt... I mean, we can only cast this thing like two times before we run out of Magicka. That's the problem. Uh oh. No, no, no. Good. I almost fell down there. I completely forgot about the pressure plates there. I thought they just, those trap things just went off automatically, but no, they're set off the pl pressure plates. But yeah, I can do this, but it just, it uses up a lot of Magicka to do that. I can't do that for very long, so. I'm gonna just need to. Uh, train some enchanting, get some really good enchants in the armor, and then I can do that. So, unfortunately we do start to fight Falmer here. Um, I really hate fighting Falmer. Uh, no real explanation for why, but I just can't stand them as creatures. Um, unfortunately this dungeon will probably have to be cut into two parts because I want to keep my episodes around 20 minutes. Just because it saves me a lot of pain with the whole rendering time if they are kept around 20 minutes per episode. Um, I don't know why I'm sneaking. You can't sneak attack with uh, magic. Unfortunately, you should be able to, but you can't. Large warmer plate metal, uh, that turns into three dwarven bars, I want to say, so that's why I'm taking it. Um, it is worth making dwarven items with smithing just because it does help you train your smithing a bit. Is there an enemy around here? There we go. Boom. Yeah, just for a regular Falmer. Even though, I mean, I, yeah, I missed him a couple times, but even so, a regular Falmer took up my entire Magicka bar just to kill him, so if I run into, like, a higher level Falmer, like a Falmer Gloom Lurker or something, I don't think I'm going to be fighting a a gloom lurker at my level, but yeah, if I if I run into a higher level farmer, I'm basically screwed. So, just so you guys know, or like a higher level dwarven monster, I guess. Anyway, so it looks like the farmer killed all the dwarven guys here. Uh, really, a whole bunch of he really super heavy dwarven items. I don't want to pick up. Oh my goodness, my aim is so bad. My aim. Oh my goodness, my aim is just horrible. Don't hit me with the nerves. Really? <laughs> I can't hit him. It's it's like doing archery with these. Um, but later on, as soon as I get 40 destruction, which I'm very close to, it's only a couple more levels, um, I'll be able to get the perk impact which basically every time you hit someone with this, with the, the dual casting uh, destruction spells, basically what it does is it um, it stuns them. So that's really good. That makes magic much, much better than it is before that. So there we go. I guess I can two-shot Falmer.
but at the same time, very, very expensive Majika-wise. Oh well, we'll try it, we'll try it. Never done a magic casting character before, don't want to give up now. Large Dwarmer Plate Metal, I'll take that. Um, those are the only ones I take as a large and the small Dwarmer Plate Metal, because they both only weigh two pounds. Um, oh! Let's try that. Oh man, come on. Come on now, there's two of them. Oh, one of them's a sword man. Hey, I hit you. I hit you. Come on, game. I hit him. Boom. I hit you and you did not die. That is not fair. You're cheating. You're cheating. Aha, run away. Run away. Run away. Run away. Run away. Uh, die. Come on, the burn damage should kill you. Fine. Sit down. Yeah, I, li I like to live life on the edge. I like to just, you know, instead of heal myself, fight when I have hardly any Majika or health left. Because I'm just awesome like that, but anyway. I wish there was a way to decrease the amount of Majika that your spells use even more, but unfortunately, that's not the case. I'm just going to have to wait until I can find some uh, Master Robes of Destruction or something super awesome like that, but yeah, we're, we're going to continue using this Firebolt even though it hasn't been great so far. Small Dwarf Plate Metal, I'll take that. Uh, weak Poison, that's a potion. I pick up all potions. No matter how amazing or how crap they happen to be, I take all potions. Um, no, that's nothing in there. Anything in here? Oh, an expert lock. No, I'm not even going to mess with that. I know it's really good lock picking experience, but I'm not going to mess with that. Sorry, I'm just not. I'm not willing to right now. It's late. I cannot deal with that amount of stress in my life at this time. Okay, we're going to get our flame Atronach. Atronach. The Atronach. Yeah. Do that. Do that. And do this. And do... Burn. Burn. Oh wow, I'm a boss. I must admit, guys, I am just a boss. No, I'm sorry, that's, I shouldn't say stuff like that. That is very, uh, not good to say. So that's kind of a crappy chest right there. Getting back on topic here. Uh, what's this, Moonstone? I don't want Moonstone. Moonstone just makes elven items, and I don't care about making elven items because they have a very low gold value and they're not very good. Oh! Hello! They are not very good smithing XP because they have a very low gold value. So I'm not too concerned about elven items. Err. You gonna help me, Flame Metronach? Anytime. Anytime here would be great. Boom. Don't kill my flame mantra, please. I need him. He's my friend. Oh, you killed him! How could you? I'm surprised that the fire blast there didn't kill the Charis. You're dead. So, oh, I took the Falmer Sword. Did not mean to do that. Get rid of that. I do not want that. Goodbye. I do not need your crappy Falmer weapons. And another really bad loot chest, but there's a bird's nest inside a tent. Makes sense. Anyway, did I mention I hate Falmer? Because I hate Falmer. They're just, uh, you know, not very pleasant creatures. Anyway, continuing on in the dungeon. Hello? Oh, the Falmer Skulker. Up in the ante here. Okay. Uh. Run. 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 Ha, huh, he has a bound sword. He's gonna kill him. Using your own weapons against you. Because I have a, you know, a Falmer bow. Die. You killed my flame Atronach, you jerk. The basket goes flying through the air in slow motion. So much epicness. Anyway. If I was all concerned about efficiency, um, 
what I would be doing is using bound weapons and training that way, because that trains your conjuration. That's like the best way to train your conjuration is by, well, using a bound bow, and then just go full on archery all the time, because that's that way you don't have to carry any weapons, so you don't really have to worry about your weight. Um, and since you're using archery, you don't have to worry about um, your stamina at all, because you only really need to worry about stamina with, if you're using a two-handed class. Um, so using a bound bow, you can pretty much just upgrade, and you don't need to upgrade your health that much because um, you don't actually get hit very often if you play an archer class correctly. So basically what you can do if you care about playing this game really efficiently is uh, using your perks really efficiently and all, is just only upgrading your Magicka and using bound bow as your weapon, and then you can end up casting some really powerful spells. Uh, but that's what I always do. Like a lot of people say they're a spell sword, you know, they do melee and magic. I've always been kind of a spell bow every time I played Skyrim. And it's fun. I like playing a spell bow. But the problem is it's not as fun to watch because um, I do the mo I do most of my damage like from a distance just picking people off and then having followers and uh, summons go in and actually do the the dangerous part of the battle getting up close and personal with the enemies and that's just not very fun to watch just someone hanging out in the distance picking people off with a bow um, in my opinion it's the most fun way to play the game but it's probably the least fun way to watch it die oh you're already dead I don't even didn't even need that third one there you gotta remember two hit the Falmer I killed him in two hits do not need any more than that and this episode is oh master door not even gonna worry about that one this episode is gonna go over 20 minutes but oh well um, we are almost to I don't know what you call it the puzzle room the piss off room that's what I want to call it it's an expert door that can piss off as well yeah we'll just call it the piss off room because that's pretty much what it is and I noticed a couple Falmer here, so I'm not even going to mess around. I'm just going to go straight into the bow. If I hit that shot, that would be insane. If I hit that shot, that would be insane. I should show you some of my like Skyrim insane bow shots I have hit in the past. Um, unfortunately, I've never had like an HD PVR or anything. I haven't even had a... Uh, I have had a capture card, but uh, I never really got it set up very well. Um... But yeah, I did hit some insane Skyrim trick shots. If only they had a theater mode, that would be crazy. But Skyrim bow trick shots. That would be an awesome series. Uh, nope. Nope. <laughs> that looks sick. Unfortunately, it's actually better to not do one flame in each hand, but do one flame in both hands. But it looks sick when you do one in each. Like, look at that. Yeah. It's like you're you got the power of the world in your hands, bro. Boom. I don't know. I just thought that looked pretty sick, to be honest. But Anyway. This is the puzzle room. Oh. Not quite. Almost. We're almost there, guys. We are so close. So very, very close. And the video is already over 20 minutes, which is going to make me cry. It's going to make my computer cry, I can tell you that. My computer is not going to enjoy rendering this sucker, but I will. I'll do it while I'm at work, so I won't have to even worry about it. Boom! You're not going to die from burn damage? Really? Really? You're going to do that to me? What about you? Only 38 destruction? This takes so long to level up. I can tell you right now, guys, do not play as a destruction class unless you just want to do it for fun, because it is not worth it from a gameplay standpoint wise. If you want to play on a high difficulty, don't play as a destruction class, that's all I can say. Um, gold and arrows, I will take those. Always collect arrows, because they weigh nothing, so there's really um, no good reason to not collect them. Gotta get my flame H knockout in a little bit. But yeah, I just, I need to increase my... Uh, I could find some, some way to decrease the amount of Magicka I'm using, that would be great. I don't know if that's going to happen, but... Yeah, I just need to probably increase my Magicka. Um, 
Oh, there's three Falmer here. Yeah, I'm gonna need the bow. I'm sorry, guys. I'm, tr I'm trying to be a destruction caster, but I just don't... Oh! Uh-oh. Falmer Gloom Looker. Look out. Crap. Th this could end badly. W what are you doing? I almost said Treyarch there. This is not Call of Duty. Treyarch did not make this game. Oh! I'm slow. Crap. One of them is using ice spikes. Ah! Quickly, potions. Potions. Do I have any healing? Yes, healing potion. Oh, I'm safe. Do I have any oh crap scrolls? Hmm. Bane of the Undead. Oh, this scroll would do a ton of damage, but I don't know if I want to waste that right now. Does anyone actually ever use scrolls? I don't think so. I could definitely use uh, the magic potion. I only have one more healing potion, so. Uh. Okay, and I'm out of Magicka. I do not. Oh, and my uh, flame Atronach is dead. And we're gonna have to do this. And forgive me, guys. Forgive me. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. I'm. So I no. I'm sorry. I really mean it. I, I don't want to have to do that, but I'm probably gonna die anyway. Let's be honest. Healing. Can we clutch this? Can we clutch this? Can we clutch this? Here, we could just use some stamina. Just to run away. Holy crap. This is the problem with this game. Sometimes it will just do the most jerkish things, like throw a gloom lurker at you when you're level, what am I, 16? You know, level 16, and they throw a Falmer gloom lurker at me, which is obviously way too high level for me to be fighting. This game, it just sometimes does stuff like that, so... Uh, I think we survived. We're surviving, kinda. I don't want to say surviving and thriving, because I'm not thriving, but... Okay, this guy's almost dead. There, he's dead. Uh, I got an ice spike in me, so I'm moving really slowly. Focusing crystal. I think we needed that. Okay. Alright, I'm sorry about that. If you watch this late in the video, I, I'm really sorry. <laughs> I will try to never do that again, I promise. I will not go into dungeons in the future without at least a few health potions. I can tell you for a fact I will not do that again. So, In the future, I will have health potions. Um, yeah, I just didn't want to have to backtrack when I'm recording. Because, you know, that's not fun for you guys to watch and it's not fun for me to so anyway um, all these guys are dead and uh, we have to go into the Mizolved aerodrome no we have to get a key uh, we are we are already in the Mizolved aerodrome that's what I meant to say we have to go down to one end um, I believe we go this way I'm not completely sure no we do not go that way <laughs> They never make you unlock master doors unless they give you a key for it. That's one thing I can say for sure. Um, yeah, I think we have to go all the way down here and there will be a key at the end. I just bumped the mic with my side of my hand there. Did not mean to do that. If you heard that, I apologize. This video is way too long. I know I keep saying that, but... Um, I need to go to bed. I have to get up at uh, 6 tomorrow to go to work. I got a change in schedule, so basically it means that from now on I'm going to be waking up at 6. Um, not thrilled about that, I will say. I'm not thrilled. But uh, I'm going to make do the best that I can. But, um, yeah, I have to get up at 6 twice a week now for work. Anyway, I know there will be enemies in here, so we'll summon him. Get out you. Oh! Dwarven spider guard. Die. 
search the Falmer. What are you doing, man? Dude, calm down. Calm down. I don't have enough Majika to fight you. You're not being very fair. I can't fight you. Okay, you're dead anyway. What's in this chest? Hopefully a key. Oh, look, a key. It's almost like I knew it was going to be there. But last time I came here, I was about the same level, and I can say there was not a Falmer Gloom Lurker. That is new. That was new. It was not there the last time I was here, so... Anyway, I guess that was supposed to be kind of like the boss for the dungeon. Every single decently sized dungeon is supposed to have, like, a higher level monster at the end of it to make it more challenging, but, you know... If you're me, and you forgot to buy health potions, it just kind of makes it more impossible than challenging, so anyway, I finally got the key so guess what guys, next episode uh, we're going to use that key, we're going to go through that door that was locked and I will show you what is inside uh, but you're just going to have to wait till next episode to find out so anyway, that's about all thanks for watching this episode that took way too long and farewell